We're going to use this graph to answer a number of questions about functions. The first question is find f of negative 5. So in this question, all we have to do is find where x is negative 5. If we follow along here, here's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and this is the point where x is negative 5. And you'll notice the function at negative 5 is at negative 1. And therefore, the answer is negative 1. Notice we're given the x value, and we're looking for the y value. Next question, where is the function equal to 2? Well, that's really asking for the y value. So we look at where uh, at the y value of 2, and up here is 2. And so the question is, where is equal to 2? If we just draw a little dotted line across, we'll notice that in this range right there, the function is equal to 2. We notice that these are x values. So where is the function equal to 2? Well, certainly x is greater than or equal to 2. Notice that this is at 1, here 2. So this range right here goes from x equal to 2 to x equal to 3. And that's where the function is equal to 2. So x must be greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 3. And if you notice, between 2 and 3, this function is equal to 2. The y value is 2 when x is greater than or equal to 2 and less than or equal to 3. Next question, what is the function at 2? Well, that means what is the function when x is equal to 2? The function refers to the y value, and at 2 refers to the x value. So at the x value, we notice... Uh, then if we just draw a straight line up, the function is right there. That's at the point 2 comma 2. And therefore, the function is also 2 when x is equal to 2. And there we go. We could just say y equals to 2, or the function is just equal to 2. The next question are, what are the zeros of the function? If you remember, the zeros of a function are really the x-intercepts. Or another way of putting that is when the graph uh, intercepts the x-axis. Um, there are two places where it intercepts the x-axis. Let's draw this in, in blue. It intercepts it right there. And you notice that's at 1, 2, 3, 4. That's at negative 4. So one answer is at negative 4. x equals negative 4. And the other place is right there at 0, 0, the origin. So that's at x equal to 0, and that's where the zeros or the x-intercepts of the function are. What is the domain of this function? Well, you, knew, you should notice that the function ends, there's no arrow at the left end on the negative end, so it ends there. And if we go to the right end, there's also no arrow. Therefore, the domain simply goes from negative 5 on the left end, so x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Notice that there's a circle there, and so therefore that is considered to be equal to negative 5. At the other end, there was a circle um, at 3, so it goes all the way up to and including 3 in this case. So the final answer is x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and less than or equal to 3. And our last question, what is the range of this function? Well, now we're looking for the y values. So if we look for the highest and lowest y values, you notice that the highest y value is at 2. We'll draw it 2 right there. And the lowest y value is at negative 1. And therefore, the range is y is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 2. You could also say uh, it's f of x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and f of x is greater or equal to 2. And now it's your turn. Use the graph to answer the following questions. If there's more than one answer, indicate what they are. You see the questions on the right. If you, they're all over here. If you have any questions, uh, just rewind the screencast, review it again, and I hope you do okay. So good luck and see you again next time.